give him a mask and he will tell you the truth Nazi free so much has emerged so many themes are coming together in the recent horrible mass shooting of the church near san antonio texas that i beg and implore you to stay with me during the length of this broadcast so that illumination can descend upon all of us oh please stefan illuminate me now mass shootings are on the rise your perception is valid and this is going back a couple of years a 2014 harvard study from 1982 to 2011 on average Mass shooting incidents, that's four or more people murdered by firearms in one incident, occurred every 200 days. That's up to 2011. Since 2011, we've we've been going upwards in the prevalence. So instead of it being every 200 days, there's a mass shooting incidence every 64 days on average. Now, with the usual caveat that correlation is not causation, what else has happened over that time period since the 80s to now? Well, one thing that's happened is American society has become more secular. 2016 Gallup tracking poll on religions. In America, three quarters of Americans still describe themselves as Christian, but uh, 80, 18% or so say they are atheist or agnostic. This is the highest since 2008, when this daily tracking poll started through Gallup. And the relationship between atheism slash leftism, first of all, there is a very strong relationship between atheism and leftism, uh, being a Democrat. If you are an atheist, you are far, far more likely to be on the left than on the right. And yes, I know, you may be an atheist on the right, you may be an atheist Republican, and you can talk all you want in the comments below, but that simply indicates your mathematical and logical illiteracy, which means you have no right to be an atheist if you claim to be logical and think that by being an exception, you somehow disprove the general rule or trend. So please don't bother wasting everyone's time with your mindless chatterbox empty-headed typing. Thank you. You know what? I am going to waste a little bit of time um, as an atheist who is not from the left uh, and address this video by Stefan Molyneux, who was one of my favorite YouTubers. Actually, the first YouTuber I ever donated money to. But um, I find it interesting that a man who claims that uh, philosophy and facts don't care about your feelings uh, would indulge in Christian apologetics. By the way, I also grew up uh, Catholic, so I'm painfully familiar with uh, Christian dogma. And uh, 99%, I would say, of my family and friends are religious, unfortunately. Not that it's unfortunate they're my family and friends, it's just unfortunate they don't see through this psychological blind spot that people like Stefan Molyneux seem to want to excuse. And I have to wonder now, I'm just speculating here. I wonder if he does this because he finds a wider paying audience by pandering to the religious right. But if facts and philosophy don't care about your feelings, and if you really are interested in that, if you really are interested in the truth, you want to dedicate your your career to that, uh, I think it's imperative to call things out for what they are. And, and, And this... And it was interesting when I went down the comments of um, his video on what pisses him off about the Texas shooting. One of his own, well, one of, I guess, the viewers or one of the comments already nails it like this. There's not a whole lot of evidence that you need to back up this, uh, this false narrative that Stefan Molyneux was pretty, pretty much painting. And I know he says that uh, correlation is not causation. But you are, you're basically trying to paint that secularism and atheism are somewhat an indirect cause to the mass shootings, more so than the NRA, okay? And all you gotta do is look at Western Europe. Western Europe is clearly more secular than the United States. And they have, what, not even an eighth of the mass shootings that we have in this country. This, this is, it's such a, it's so disturbing to watch this. It's not only the left-right divide, but the money that's being made from the left-right divide. And I clearly identify more, it's, it's hard to say because it's, it's so muddled what is the left and the right. Simply put, I'm a social, liberal, fiscal conservative. I hope that, and an atheist, anti-theist. I guess if you want to hang some labels on me, and sh- at least that way you know where I'm coming from. I grew up Catholic and I'm f- nowhere near the left. My family is from Cuba. And I'm not going to get into the details about my mother being put in a forced labor camp and other relatives being put into 
prison for decades for political reasons only and other friends of the family that actually rafted it over here to the United States, not to mention people who were executed at La Cabana prison under Che Guevara, which by the way, I really admire that uh, video that Stefan Molyneux produced, The Truth About Che Guevara, which is why I donated the money to him, uh, to his channel. I just wanna show that I'm not from the left. But uh, th this is a problem. I mean, for anybody who follows this, for anyone who's stuck within this echo chamber within a rabbit hole <laughs> on YouTube, and at least for anyone who, is, who really does want to help see these problems in society solved, um, speak the real truth, okay? And I know it's painful. It's painful. I, I, I can see why some people would cling on to religion. Look, I'm going to give Stefan Molyneux the benefit of the doubt as to why he might be defending something he knows to be false. Yeah, let him say it in his own words. We must have transcendence. We must have something higher. We, we cannot to be happy. Encapsulate and encase the glory of our consciousness and the wonder and miraculous potential that we possess. We cannot simply encase it in mere neurotransmitters, electricity, and sell storms of pseudo self-awareness. We must have free will, we must have a conscience, we must have virtue, we must have something to strive for. But you see, that's part of the problem. Uh, all evidence leads to the fact that that's exactly what we are. We're matter and energy. And, and, and that's what I was kind of hoping from someone like you who's much better spoken about these things. Sorry about the truck in the background. There. Just, there's only so much time I want to dedicate to this video. You know, um, but this is how we solve our problems by accepting reality for what it is. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the formula, right? To evolution, you accept, you adapt, then you overcome. That's how we solve the problems. We don't solve the problems by making excuses and by encouraging people to actually base their life and their decision-making on false information, such as Jesus Christ being your Lord and Savior, or bringing it back to the mass shootings and another favorite YouTuber of mine who I clearly disagree with when it comes to religion, Steven Crowder, when he actually interviewed Stephen Williford, the man who shot the Texas shirt, the Texas church shooter. And here's another circular logic that we have when it comes to the shootings in the United States. That it actually, it was an AR-15 that saved the day, really. An AR-15 saved, what, saved so many lives at that church. And 28, if I'm not mistaken, were, were slaughtered. And when Stephen Crowder was interviewing Stephen Williford, Stephen Williford actually mentioned that the Holy Spirit was on him. He felt, he felt the Holy Spirit on him. And... and for whatever reason why St Stephen Crowder wouldn't want to interrupt that, I, I guess it was a live interview. Chances are it's because Stephen Crowder probably agrees. Stephen Crowder probably does believe that the Holy Spirit helped Stephen Williford stop the shooter. Yet the Holy Spirit did nothing within a church as 28 people were slaughtered. And, and you know, I'm a Christian. Sure. And I believe, I believe at that point, and maybe uh, this sounds a little off, just some of your visit, their viewers that aren't Christians, I believe the Holy Spirit was on me because I had the presence of mind to look at what was going on. And as we exchanged fire, I noticed that the side was one of those tactical vests that Velcros across. This, this, way of thinking is poisonous to society. It's poisonous to our species. And I feel very, very strongly to point it out. Not so strongly where I felt like putting in a whole lot of time in the production values, because, hey, look, it's just like Stephen Molly, uh, Stephen Molly was saying, oh, don't waste all time. Don't waste all time with your <laughs> whatever, dude. As much as I do admire the guy, I think he's, I don't know, that, that, that whole, per, that whole, state of self-righteous indignation and outrage all the time in his videos, it, it, it does become a bit much for me. And um, anyway, I hope this video makes sense. I hope more of us who do want to see solutions to our problems in society could finally break past this ridiculous left-right divide that we have 
And as much as I, I more identify to the right, we do have to call, call out even the people that we do admire. When, when you're wrong and you're oh so wrong, you're disgustingly wrong, it needs to be called out. And um, by any, you know, if anybody thinks I'm wrong, uh, point something out, uh, let me know. Let me know I'm wrong in, in pointing these things out. But I, I, I think this, it, you're really doing neither society nor our species any favors by making excuses for Christianity just because it feels good. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it or hit the like button or subscribe and click the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, please consider buying a t-shirt or some merchandise in the links below. Or buy monthly subscription via Patreon for as little as $1 or a simple one-time donation at paypal.me slash homegrown.